Welcome to English Grammar and More. In this video, we'll learn about indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns are used to refer to people or things without saying exactly who or what they are. And indefinite pronouns are compound words, typically starting with the words such as every, some, any, no, and ending with the words such as body, one, thing. For example, everybody, everyone, everything, somebody, someone, something, anybody, anyone, anything, nobody, no one, nothing. So we use the pronoun everybody to mean all, and here we intend to be more inclusive. We can also see this from the circle given on this picture. Everybody in the group agrees with this decision. So we mean all in the group agrees with this decision. We use the pronoun somebody when we want to refer to one person, one single person within a group. For example, somebody in the group agrees with this decision. We can also use the pronoun anybody to refer to a single person, but here we intend to be less specific. So when we say anybody, we may refer to any single person here. So it can be this lady, that man, this woman, etc. So anybody in the group would agree with this decision. Lastly, we say no, nobody when we want to negate every single person within the group. For example, nobody in the group agrees with this decision. We use the pronoun everyone once again to mean all, but here we are being more individualistic. So here we intend to say every single person. You can also see this from the circles given on the picture. For instance, everyone wants to come to the picnic. So here we want to say that every single person we see on this picture wants to come to the picnic. We use the pronoun someone to refer to one single person. And here we are being more specific. Someone wants to come to the picnic. We can again use the pronoun anyone to refer to one single person, but here we are being less specific. So it can be anyone. So this man, this woman, this woman, anyone would want to come to the picnic. Lastly, we use the pronoun no one if we want to negate every single person in the picture. For example, no one, like not any single person, wants to come to the picnic. We use the pronoun everything to refer to all the things we are talking about. For example, everything here belongs to Peter. We use the pronoun something when we want to refer to one single thing among many things. For example, something here belongs to Peter. We can also use the pronoun anything to refer to a single thing, but here we intend to be less specific. So when we say anything, so it can be anything literally. So it can be the clock, chair, scissors, pencils, etc. Anything here may belong to Peter. Lastly, we say nothing when we want to negate every single thing in the picture. So nothing here belongs to Peter. Now, let's talk about the use of indefinite pronouns in a sentence. Indefinite pronouns can be used both as a subject and as an object in a sentence. When we use it as a subject, the indefinite pronoun comes in the very beginning of the sentence, right before the verb. For example, everybody wishes to be successful. Here, everybody is the indefinite pronoun used as a subject and it comes right before the verb. Another example would be somebody knocked on the door. Somebody, once again, is the indefinite pronoun used as a subject and coming before the verb. Anybody can ask a question. Again, we have an indefinite pronoun, anybody, used right before the verb. Lastly, everything is ready. Here, everything is the indefinite pronoun used as a subject coming before the verb. 
As an object, however, indefinite pronoun comes right after the verb. For example, I saw everybody there. Here, everybody is the indefinite pronoun used as an object and it has come right after the verb. Another example would be, I talked to somebody from the team. Here, somebody is the indefinite pronoun coming right after the verb. We did not meet anyone familiar. Here, anyone is the indefinite pronoun used as an object coming right after the verb. Lastly, they did nothing new. Nothing here is the indefinite pronoun used as an object and it comes right after the verb. Now it's time for you to practice. Now for a quiz one, I would like you to have a look at the pictures given on the screen and fill the blank spaces in the sentences with the proper indefinite pronouns. You have 30 seconds to prepare your answers. After 30 seconds, I'll show you the correct answers so that you can cross check. All right, time is up. Now let's see the correct answers for quiz one. Look, there is nothing in this box. Hey, there is something in this box for you. Everything in this box is for donations. Everyone in the family is in the kitchen. No one is in the sitting room. All right, for quiz two, I would like you to choose a proper indefinite pronoun from the list given on the right to fill the blank spaces in the given sentences. You have 30 seconds to prepare your answers. After 30 seconds, I'll show you the correct answers. Now let's see the correct answer is for quiz two. I don't find my pencils here. Somebody has taken them. This is very easy to do. Anyone can do it. The whole box was empty. There was nothing in it. Do not worry, everything will be fine. If everyone is ready, then we can finally go. No one in the group mentioned about this. I wanted to park my car in the yard, but nobody opened the gate for me. Finally, it's time for homework. For homework, I would like you to write at least 10 sentences using indefinite pronouns. You can write down your sentences in the comment section below. I'll try to check them for you whenever I can. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next video.